All right, we're gonna we're gonna come online here in a moment. Well, let's let's go ahead and get started. Just mess with a few things and all right, we're going to get back here. Uh, back playing Battle Brothers. So we're in veteran Iron Man on our save here. We are the No Ballers, day 11. And last I checked, we were actually doing halfway decently. Um, which for us is, you know, not, not dying. <laughs> Just got to mess with all the stream things. So... Let's check. What the hell was going on last time? We have... Okay, everybody's everybody's injured. What the hell happened? Oh, no. So, we got Oswald. He's looking pretty long in the tooth there. Excellent. Just just checking the stream since, you know, I don't really know what the hell I'm doing with streaming, so I have no idea if things are working or not working all the time. But it looks like we're actually getting to it. All right. So we've got three archers in the back here. We've got three dudes, four dudes, five dudes with axes and shields. Um, and almost everybody in our party is wounded and <laughs> messed up in some way. Okay, um, so we need to figure out how to how to how to not die um, successfully. The guys are wounded. There's a temple. Great. Let's see. How much money can we actually afford? to spend to heal them. All right, so pierced arm muscles. For a melee guy, that's awful. Um, let's heal that. Pierced hand for, yeah. We need to just kind of heal as much of this as we can. And, um, right. so max fatigue, that's not too bad. It's gonna take one to three days. Uh, our cripple guy, <laughs> Wenzel, because <laughs> we're hiring cripp cripples now. Minus 40% damage. Oh, that's going to take way too long to heal. We've got our eunuch. Two additional action points per tile moved. 40% initiative. That's okay. He can, he can have his knee be all fucked up. Grazed kidney. Ouch. So this guy's going to be having some trouble when he's going to the bathroom. Okay, so I think everybody else, we're just going to leave, and um, it should be fine. So let's go find a quest. Um, Battle Brothers is all about quests and getting contracts and being a mercenary, which means killing a lot of people who may or may not actually deserve it. Mostly not deserve it, because this is a very messed up world, and the people you murder usually, usually were the bad guys. A couple of bleeding goats are being led down. <laughs> bleeding, not bleeding. They shuffle through the mud. Mercenary, somebody's looking for you. All right, so what does he want? Are you a man of faith? We have lost the Elder Stone, a relic of great import. Awesome, that means it's valuable. Uh, 250, 60 now, and that, all right. 
Well, let's go figure it out. So, this is southeast of Grimstead. So, we have southeast of Grimstead. Oh, jeez. That's where we are right now. Okay, so... Southeast of Grimstead. All right, well, let's head south East yeah, okay. There it is. I got east and west confused because I'm an idiot It's like god. There's only there's only four directions. You think you would have learned that in kindergarten, um, but you know I Didn't So what is this place the sad remains of a merciless battle? Dire wolves all right, let's Stay away from that. An epidemic or other catastrophe. The survivors dug a large hole, piled all the corpses into it to get rid of them. Shit. So this is just a mass grave, and we have to go visit it. Finding and bagging the Elder Stone was easier than expected. Finding a group of undead men top-heavy with rustic armor and wielding spears. Okay, yeah, so it's a mass grave of dead Romans who didn't stay dead. Great. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, no. Well. These guys just need to walk off their injuries. And what, what better way to walk off an injury than to get another injury? <laughs> okay. So, these guys all have shields. So, we're pretty much screwed for everything we do. So, let's just, let's just start firing. We gotta, we gotta get shots in there and put some arrows down range there are six of them there are eight of us so that's six that's all of them I can count one two three four five six so they're coming they're coming all right so they're gonna move a little bit up let's just kind of collapse in on them here so we need to kind of shift down one row if we're gonna do this this guy is just gonna just gonna stay here so we're gonna try to do is leave th that guy up uh, up front up top and uh, just kind of, just kind of hope he can hold the line a little bit, and we're gonna we're gonna see what happens. This may be an awful plan. We usually do have bad plans, so we're right at home. We're right at home with this. All right, come on, come forward. All right, they're gonna hopefully stalemate each other up there. Oh, he's just gonna get surrounded. Well, these guys have got to do some work then if we're gonna live. So we gotta just get get cracking. guy's gonna do that and what we want to do is maybe hit him hit him back so we're not surrounded so they don't have all those flanking bonuses yeah all right so we're starting to make starting to make a make a big dent down here awesome our archers are still doing nothing <laughs> Awesome, so, like, we're almost done with these guys. Great! It's probably not going to stop them from murdering us. Come on, keep your shield up. Keep it up! You've got, you've got decent armor up there. You just need to stick around for just another little bit. Alright. Let's get you up there. We can just take this guy down. Let's do the same thing. Let's knock this guy's ass back. Uh, armed with shield, shield wall. 
Shield wall. Alright, so this guy's not shield walling, so we had the best chance of hitting him. Um, man, we're just... These guys know how to use shields. Excellent. So we've taken out all three of the guys in the south. Guy up top is actually standing his ground. I'll probably eat those words. Excellent. Okay, so... I've made the mistake in the past of hitting these guys' shields and breaking them. And every single damn time that happens, they two-hand their weapons, and then my guys just get killed. So I'm convinced that my previous, like, oh, I should break their shields, is just a bad freaking idea. He's out of breath. He can't use any of his skills. Uh, we're just going to leave him alone, and um, hopefully he gets to go first so he can, like, catch his breath. <laughs> and then put his fucking shield up. I mean, I understand why he's trying to catch his breath, or he's out of breath. He's, he's taking the entire top row. Oh, shit. Oh, the shield wall fell, and so did he. Shit. And we can't really even get up there to help him. Can we withdraw? We need this guy to withdraw. Alright, who have we got the best chance to hit? Uh, this guy. Of course, we missed twice. So, should we hit him back? So maybe we can get forward? Can we get... If we hit him back and move up, we might be able to move more guys up, like him. So... That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna try to play it smart. This guy. Welcome to the front lines. Fight for your life. Sixty-nine percent chance. The best chance. Get up there. We got support for you at least. Oh, that's not a spot I can go. Shit. Well. Let's have you hang out. Oh, don't kill him. We don't want to lose. We don't want to lose people. <laughs> we lost our company the other day, and we took we spent like three tries trying to get these guys off the ground, and they're off the ground. Let's. Can we have a good run here? Forty-two percent, twenty-nine percent. How come? Because you're shield walling. But you're almost dead. And we're almost out of breath. Yeah, we're out of breath. I'm just gonna focus fire this guy. Come on. Ooh. Oh, what? Oh, no. And I can't even do anything. Shit. Alright. Now everybody is tired. This is not a good situation. Hit him! Oh, shit. Well, I'm not exactly surprised that that happened. Come on, guys, there's half of them left, and one guy defended against all three of these while you secured the southern flanks. And now all of a sudden... Now all of a sudden we're falling apart. One down. Oh, man. Oh, he's running away now. We are screwed. If we move up, we'll, yeah, we'll probably get screwed here. If we hit him back, we just need him to die. Oh. I mean, we just spent all of our money getting our guys healed just for them to all fucking die, didn't we? Oh, and we're... We just can't kill this guy. It's just not happening. 
God. Everybody's tired. Everybody's freaking out and running away. Everybody's dying. Crap. And we have horrible chances to hit on these guys because they just have such good shields. Shit. What the hell? We can't hit anything. This is amazing. I mean, we just eventually fired enough arrows and, and hit this guy enough that his shield fell the fuck apart. God damn it. Double miss. Double miss. Double hit. God. Ah, he's just he reloaded and that's it. He's, he's too tired now. Oh, okay. Good. We got that down. 81% chance. Yeah, it's just all about those shields. So we lost two guys. Uh, Wenzel and Oswald. Wenzel was actually good. He was like our star player. Oh, fuck. Well, we are 15 minutes into the stream and we've already lost our best men. Nowhere to go but down. take it yeah all right so uh, we'll just re reorganize our company a little bit here and see what we can do so it's a 110 hat a 110 hat 110 70 all right so these guys are 95 each so let's put them on do they limit vision all right because they limit vision we can't put them on our archers So, excellent. What about these shields? They're 10 fatigue. So the same amount of fatigue, but they're crappier. But they're plus 15, plus 15. So these are just the same shields. God, how come they were kicking our ass so much? Like, our guys must just suck. We just... Alright, yeah, well... I think there's a good reason why they suck. They're... They're cripples. All of them are like cripples and rejects and the cheapest people that we can find on the on the slave block. <laughs> no wonder. Alright, well let's get paid our very small amount of money and see what we can do. We saw some dire wolves down here. Um, so we gotta remember that. There's wolves. Alright, we got our money and we're in better spirits. So what we need to do is we need to figure out a place to go. A Fletcher, a Weaponsmith, and a Kennel, and an Armorer. An Armorer would be good. Maybe we can find some cheap piece of mail. We also need to hire people. And when you hire people, usually you want to give them armor because then they don't die because they're wearing armor when they get hit by swords. I think that makes sense. So, Wolfram, he's a bowyer. We got Kurt, the Houndmaster, and Erwin, the Gravedigger. Well, um, let me hire two of these guys, and let's go see what their stats are looking like. So, Erwin is decent at defense, he's bright, gluttonous. Good. All right. Sounds like a winner. So, here's your helmet. Here's your here's your sackcloth. Um, you'll be you'll be fine. All right. This guy, Kurt, is good at range defense. Good at he's not really good at much, but he's strong. And he's a Spartan. This character finds no joy in eating, and will use less provisions. As well as not leaving you as fast should you ever run out of provisions entirely. Oh man. Excellent. Well, let's slap a helmet on him. Give him give him a sword and a shield. A broken ancient sword. Ancient spear. Or we can give him a fox. A short and heavy blade with a curved edge. Dulled over the years. It's a cleaver. Or we can give you a stick. 
and you gonna just pop them on the pop them on the head. Let's not do that. All right, so we have some guys. So let's sell some of this shit. Let's hang on to one shield. Hang on to a sword. And we have enough for one archer, if we ever run across an archer that we can actually use. Should we get some armor for these guys? Maybe a little bit of armor? Yeah, we need at least, we need at least something for this guy. Alright, you're not wearing complete rags. And let's just get rid of that. Let's get rid of that too. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun dun. Alright, let's go find a contract. Go get some more money. How about an easy one this time, not a ridiculously impossible mission? Alright, this is One Skull Negotiations. The Trade Master takes a book from his shelf. Do you believe in monsters? We believe in monsters. What will you pay? Sure. Um, hunt down what terrorizes these people. And we would hire some of them to like hunt down what's terrorizing them. We don't have enough frickin' money to do it. So, you know, these guys are just typical, typical villagers where, you know, they're, they're freaking out, they're getting attacked, and then, like, you're the heroes to come and save their asses, and all of a sudden, they're, like, doubling the prices in the shop. Alright, two free spears. Excellent. It's like just finding money on the ground. So these, these wolves, looks like you can follow their tracks. There they are. There's four dire wolves. Uh, I'd like to fight them in the plains. I'd like to fight them. Yeah, so let's try to head out of the mountains. And of course we're fighting them in the mountains. Dire wolves are fast as shit. And the high ground's not gonna... Yeah, we're fighting with our archers on the low ground. You think we could, like defend or something where you're like okay there's a hill the wolves are gonna come why don't we just get on top of the hill maybe that's what we were trying to do and like we screwed it all up so height disadvantage distance of three yeah we're actually gonna have uh, our archers wait a little bit here didn't we give him like something better in a fucking stick shit maybe we didn't Let's start off by missing the easy shots. Let's... Let's start off by missing the fucking easy shots. Good lord. He's got a, he's got a 60% chance to hit. So hit him! Alright, we're gonna try to flank around. We're gonna assume that all of our guys in the front row actually... Can like live. All right, shoot this guy. Forty-seven percent. Sh Shit. We're just gonna all die because we can't hit a fucking thing. Come on, guys. Shit. <laughs> We're gonna tear us, tear us into tiny bits. We just bought that guy, and he's already toast. 50% shot! Miss every time. Good lord. We're, we're just gonna have to start doing the turtle defense. Come on. One down. We got three to go. 45% chance to hit. 43% chance to hit. 0% chance to hit. Um, 
We gotta go for it. So hopefully they kill this guy. They're not gonna listen to me, are they? Awesome. Our shields are holding. Keep them up. All right. This guy is not injured, not injured. 62%. We can make it. We can do it. This guy, we're going to go for a stun. Awesome. We're going to we're going to see what happens with the stun. Shield wall. We we need this guy to stay alive. This, our archers are right behind him, and our archers will die in like one turn. Come on. Yes. Yes. Good. And since he's stunned, he can't do shit, so let's keep smacking him in the face. Keep, keep the shield up! We need you to, we need you to live! And he's bleeding. Excellent. God damn it. You, you, need to, you need to hit this guy. Wounded? Near death? Dead. Excellent. Now let's run up and hopefully... Whiff. Great. 78% chance. Hey, we actually... We got like a good little surround going on. Let's not get greedy. Keep our shield up and... Um, Hope to God. 47. 48. Let's go with the 48. 1% chance. Miss anyway. Alright. Yeah, that's why we keep our shield up. Three, three hits on that shield. Nice. Alright, let's maneuver around him. And then... 75% chance. 75 83% chance. All right. I'll take it. Uh this guy actually is acting this town uh this turn. So if we can try to stun him, but you know, it's just not working. All right. 56 55. That 1%. The 1%. This guy is too tired to even get his shield up. That's a bad sign. Um <laughs> So we're, instead of instead of all right, good. Killed him. Oh, did you hear the little whimper? He was like, mm. uh, "You're not getting any sympathy. These fucking wolves just eat people. They've been terrorizing villagers for for months. And they're just sad when they get killed. Like, no, we're not gonna be sad. Fuck them. Let's run up there. Plant that axe in him. That's right. Oh, hey." Erwin didn't even die. He's still alive. He just, he's missing his nose. <laughs> Look at that. There's like a big bloody spot where his face used to be. <coughs> oh, oh, that's awful. That's awful. Let's take a closer look at that. What it actually does. So what does that mean? Erwin without a nose. He's got minus 10% max fatigue because he can't, like, breathe out of his face properly? Oh, that sucks. There's there's no other, like, debuff, though. So there's no, like, oh, I'm horribly scarred and, like, I'm angry and I'm going to leave the party. He's just, no, I just can't breathe as good, boss. This guy's, this guy's a hard ass. He's, he's, he doesn't give a shit. He's like, I used to have a face. It doesn't really matter anymore. All right, so because we help these guys out. Oh man, goods are like more expensive here. Does that mean we can sell shit for more? Maybe. So we found the two spears on the side of the road. That was a good point. Let's see. We didn't equip this guy with anything or shit. So now that we actually have something to give him, let's give it to him. And let's see if there's anybody to hire. Still just Rolo, that one one dude. But they have a contract. Two skulls. Uh, not doing it. So, let's run to... 
This place has a tavern. I want somewhere that has more. A barber, a tavern, a harbor, and a temple. Never been here. Actually, this place looks decent. Svazmok. Running low on supplies. Well, you know, as in, as with every problem in life, if you don't have money, you're gonna have a bad time. Alright, so, yes, we have a negotiation here. What will the people pay for their safety? I want more! Okay. He said yes, that usually doesn't happen. Like, give me more money! Uh, uh. Fine. Drive off brigands. Brigands. Alright, we can deal with brigands. How much for tools? A lot. Well, we might get better prices after we uh, do their dirty work. So, we got a flagellant. Kale. A collie or whatever. While flagellating himself nightly, he seeks redemption. If Kali had the power, you believe he'd purge the entire world. Thankfully, he is a mere man. Well, let's see if we can turn Kali into more than a man. See if we can turn him into a legend. And Tobjern, the day tailor. Or Wilhelm, the pious. Prayer did not spare his brothers from slaughter. So now he's like, yeah, fuck God. We're <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have Wilhelm. He's gonna man. Look at o Otmar. He's just a beast. He's got scars all over all over him. There's an obvious language barrier with the wild man, but for some reason he seems very willing to fight. All right. So we got two more guys. So we got ten total dudes. And you, Kali actually looks like you have some skill with the bow so we're gonna throw you in the back row slap a bow in your hands and you're gonna they're gonna start doing some work should we just send Friar Tuck out there in his monk's robe I think we should we could use some something better than a sackcloth for this guy I mean he's gonna run out there we're supposed to be like a decent mercenary company, right? Like, we're supposed to make at least a college try about not sending our guys to die for no frickin' reason, right? That's the idea. They're gonna die anyway. What does it matter if they're dressed up or not? All right. So, we're not gonna send Friar Tuck out there in just his robe. I'm gonna give him some leather. And we're gonna give this guy the monk's robe because he's the flagellant. You'd think he'd have the monk's robe. I just can't understand that. This guy is like, his hobby is hitting himself. Alright, so this is southwest of Schwarzmark. This is a ruin. So, we got some bandits hiding out in the ruins. That's what bandits do, they hide out in places. It's just where they learn in bandit school. There's like, cheating, whoring, and hiding in places. That'd actually be a pretty cool school. I'd like to go to bandit school. <laughs> they hide out in the middle of the fucking swamp. These bandits are just... If you're gonna hide somewhere, hide somewhere nice. You know, like, go hide out in a tropical resort. Then at least, you know, <laughs> at least you're having fun. Hello, Elizabeth Dad. How are you tonight? Or this morning, or this afternoon, whatever time it is for you. Probably having a better time than these people fighting in the middle of this swamp. This is like the never-ending story. Artax died right over there. 
It's so sad. can't see them because they're in the long grass. We're just going to wait for them then. <coughs> Alright. Getting some shots in. Maybe. Maybe. We can take him out. Hell yes. Alright, there's just one guy. Alright, we're going to need to swing down. So, let's push up a little bit. I don't want to push up much because I know they're like hidden hidden dudes here. Just just one one space and uh, maybe get ready. What is he armed with? On bad terrain. Well, yeah. Nice. Nice. We're fighting like we don't want to die. there. This guy should be, like, crapping himself now. Alright, we're just gonna... We're gonna shield wall because we can. And we'll see if they come up closer, or if they're just gonna stick there for some reason. Can we hit him? 55% chance. Yeah, let's do it. Man, our archers are on point today. We should fight more often in swamps if our archers are actually gonna hit people. I want them to come out of their little fog of war situation here. You know, let's let's just murder this guy. He needs to he needs to die. Ah oh, man, he's already tired. All right, there they are. They're showing up for work now. And then there were five. There's actually six of them. Never mind. So he's reposting, so we'll probably try to not attack him. Can we get him? We could shoot him. Yeah, we'll shoot him. We'll see what our see what our chances to hit are. Forty-four. Yeah, let's take a swing. We're probably not going to kill him, though. Well, 61% chance to hit. Yeah, alright. One more. One more. Not going to do it. You are hurt, so you're going to shield wall and attack. 33. Awesome. One more hit. One more hit. 50... Flip a coin. Heads. It's always tails. It was heads that time. Alright, get your shield up. This guy's gravely wounded. Let's get him all the way wounded. All the way dead. 51, but he's not reposting, so... He's just tired again. Oh, leave him alone. We just hired him. 41, 33, 56. Oh, nice. Excellent. We could use more of that. We could use more murder. Nice. Archer's doing work today. Alright, so we need to get down here. Support our troops. That guy just needs to wall up. 31% chance. He has... Not a whole bunch. Just gotta take some shots at him. You are also injured, so you're just gonna shield wall and rest. This guy can't even shield wall. So, what is our chance to hit? 46? 45? Nice. Oh, this music. This music is so good. 
It's like you get slow rolled and you're just like get amped up. Well, all of my characters are going to die. Maybe he'll come back again. No, that's the guy who came back. Is he just like they can't cut his nose off again. His nose is already gone. I mean they could if there's anything else left of his face. Take that apart. Yes! Yes! Now we need to murder this guy. I'll take his nose off. <laughs> oh shit. Alright. 45% chance to hit. Always a miss. He's just just hold the line, dude. Just don't. Don't die on me. I don't know what to do with that guy. Come on, shield. We got, we got them. If we can get this around, they're all running. They're running, which means, which means they're just gonna disengage. All right, let's run them down because we want their gear. Yes, that's how we get their gear. Murder them. Get up there. Get in there. He's running away. Now's your chance to take revenge for your nose. Yeah. 60% chance. Alright, well, he at least didn't didn't get to run very far. Alright, so Wilhelm the pious, our uh, our monk that we threw in the front row. Calius did actually kind of be a legend there. He came back. He has... He's been traumatized. Let's let's go take a closer look at exactly how he was traumatized. We also got tools, which is fucking sweet. We needed those. How are you traumatized? He's pious. This character has been to the other side. Faced with his own mortality, the experience of dying and coming back has left him a broken man. Great! Welcome to the team! <laughs> like, the broken company. We're just a bunch of suckers. So, it's a militia spear, and we could give him a boar spear, because, you know, otherwise known as a pig sticker. Let's give him a not, not a shield that was wielded by fucking ghosts and horrors. Let's, let's give him something else. Let's give him a sword. And let's level up our dudes. Cunabert the Older is still freaking alive. No thanks to his dice rolls on getting stats. Um, but he's actually here. Um, is our goal right now? Have at least 2,000 crowns. Okay, I was just checking to see if it was like, um, have a rally the troops guy. Because we could actually do that for once. So what do we want to do? Um, we were having a lot of damn trouble moving around. Um... We could inflict an additional 20% damage against things that are injured. The bonus to hit chance and melee is doubled to plus 10 for each ally surrounding and distracting your target. Ah, that sounds like a great plan. Like, we, we can't hit shit. That's our problem. It's not that we don't do damage. It's that, we, it's that we just swing and we miss. And then you swing and a miss every damn time. And all of a sudden, you swing and then your company died while you were missing. All right, let's go back, get money, get paid, and get buckets. It's all about buckets of ducats. Shavos, Mark. I wonder where this game is supposed to take place. All right, no longer ambush trade routes. Does that mean there's like going to be better gear and shit here? I can't do a two skull mission. Uh, let's take a look. Well, things are at least cheaper now. We can afford to buy some of this crap. So why don't we go ahead and do that? We also need to rebuild our crew. 
Let's get Otmar the wild man. We passed him up earlier because we were sh That's all of our money. We're I am not a smart person. All right, Otmar. Hey, hey, Otmar, this is something called clothes. You put them on so you're not a buck-ass naked wild dude. I know it's a new thing for you. It's scary. Just put it on. You'll be fine. Shouldn't lie to him. You're probably gonna die. But that doesn't have anything to do with you wearing clothes. Reinforced wooden flail. Awesome. Well, let's sell this stuff. Um, so that we actually have enough money for one day. And let's go in our one day. And find some frickin' work. Um, we could run all the way down here. Have we ever been here? No. Um, great, well then let's go figure out what's over there. And let's also watch the roads here and see if there's anything. Let's kind of run over this way. We might run into like a little bandit camp or some other shit where we can go have some fun and meet some new friends. And by have fun and meet friends, I mean die trying to do something stupid um, and get eaten by horrifying monsters. Yeah, like, like right here. Many brigand thugs, an abandoned homestead with a collapsed roof. That's, that's what we want. Um, let's take a second, though. Let's just double check um, what people are looking like here. So he's kind of hurt. He's also kind of hurt. Many brigand thugs. That's a lot of guys. Um, let's see here. If we rested... So if we, like, ran down here for a second and we rested... For a while. Let's let's just get our get our hit points back real quick. The problem is we don't have enough money to dilly dally here. We gotta Alright, these guys are looking a lot better. It's evening, but it's not night. So let's let's go attack them. We should be able to see. Shouldn't be pitch black yet. Yeah, see, so it's good, and that should give us enough time. So let's let them come forward. They don't look like they're a whole bunch of heavy armor guys, which is great because we aren't a bunch of heavy armor guys. So we have a chance. I've rolled up to these things and been like, ah, oh, there's only three of them, but all three of them had like full chainmail, and like, were the guys who um, were in the movie. 300 and um, we, we were like you know the Persians <laughs> just like climbing all over each other to run away because we were getting our asses kicked yeah it's like that so let's see they're in two groups um, but they're coming forward why don't we let them come to us? Let's just see how that works. Like, why don't we engage the top crew um, aggressively and we'll leave the bottom crew to kind of hold the line. We did that in the forest with um, some stuff. Yeah, this might work. We might make a good decision here. Because if they all hold the line, There's a chance. There's a chance our archers can actually do their archery thing. 38... 38%? Let's hit him! Yeah, that guy's... That guy's toast. Very good. Strategy. Strategy is working. We need more strategy around here. 31% chance to hit. Let's hit. Come on. Well, we hit the shield at least. Our archers drink way too much. Alright, this guy, Brigand Thug, is just gonna get... Oh, he's bleeding. 
What a life. He's still got a hit on us. Oh, he's moving in. Let's see, 35. 59% chance to hit? I'll take it. Yeah, I'll shoot you right in your... Right in your stupid face. Oh, he screamed. He's like, oh, God. Well, what have I done to deserve this? Sixty-six, sixty-six, and a miss. All right, so we got a sixty-three. S yes, headshot. This guy looks really sad. Sixty-five, fifty-eight. Um, this guy's already wounded though. So let's just. If you're in a fight, basically fight to win. Guy's wounded. Great. Punch him right in the kidneys. He's on his back foot. Take the foot off. Alright. A miss. And... Let's clean up. Let's clean these guys up. Like the trash they are. Take them out back. Oh no! That guy, that guy drowned on his own blood. That's why you shouldn't have blood. You drown in it. Oh man, is this guy gonna get like some little prick stab in the end? And take one of my guys out? Because I don't want that to happen. Ah, oh, no head? No head. We want this one guy. We want him dead. Target practice. Excellent. That went surprisingly well. Maybe it's because we were fighting really shitty guys. Maybe it's not, but... I'm feeling pretty good after that fight. You did it, guys. You proved that you're not all a bunch of fuck-ups. You proved that it's just Erwin who's a fuck-up. Alright, we need more of that. So I always pick the fast adaptation thing first because when you miss, um, you then get a better chance to hit. And that kind of follows as being a decent plan. Like, well, if you just missed, obviously you need a better chance to hit because you're taking bad shots. You need a hit with that one. Like, if that was the shot you needed to hit on, then <laughs> you'd better hit on the shot after it. Um, so, what are we going to give this guy? Backstabber. Wear heavy armor. Rotate. Rotate would be good for, like, actually getting guys out of harm's way. Hits to the head no longer cause critical damage to this character. I think what we're going to do is um, make him gifted, give him some more basic stat points because it's kind of like focus on fundamentals. We don't need like crazy insane things. What we need are people who show up to fight and live. And that really just comes down to just everything. And your special skills and the rest, they can only get you so far. You need the basics. If your guy only has two hit points, he's gonna die. No amount of training is gonna, or special little abilities is gonna change that. Well, before we sell absolutely everything we have, let's make sure that we're wearing, that we're bringing our best here. So, Otmar, yes, this is called Gabison. Gabison, can you? Hello, Kicker BS. How are you doing today? 
Let's see. I want to give this guy an axe. So I'll give him an axe. I don't see anything else. I is there anybody cheap in the in the in the pool? Well, yeah, they're all cheap, but we don't have any money, so we just have to sell stuff. That's just how it goes. Cause we're also like out of food. At least it's cheap. <laughs> well, well, that's good. I mean, it's it's. It's pretty. It's pretty simple there. They're calling you kick curbs. And they make jokes about curb stomping people or something. Maybe I just have put up with too much bullshit in my life. People are like, "Oh, his 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 name can't possibly have like a connotation of having a swear word in it." That's just no. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume I'm gonna assume better about that person. And assume that they don't understand what they're doing. You're like, no. People usually know what they're doing. A tavern. We actually won a good fight. Let's get drunk. That's what we do. We're mercenaries. We drink. And then we go hit things with swords. Usually in that order, which is actually pretty bad. Because when you're drunk in a fight, you'll be like, oh, oh, oh God. Why the hell did I have that extra shot of whiskey? Brigands. All right. Um, let's fight them. <laughs> they, they, they just opted out. They're like, no. Nope. We want to fight them, but I don't want to fight them during the night. Excellent. So we'll fight them at dawn. If you want to do a fight just like blind drunk, and like this is like a real fight with like armor and, and shit like that, you'd just be. <laughs> you'd just like roll over and fall to sleep. Because you're just too fucking exhausted. All right, these guys are just too far away. We gotta, we gotta let them roll up here. They do have archers though, which scares me. So, yeah, that's a, that's a problem. <laughs> Let's keep going. And thanks for the thanks for the follow. That's a uh, very appreciated. I don't really know why you would follow somebody like me, but here I am. So let's let's actually put our shields up because we want these guys to come forward. And we want to bring our archers forward so we can fire at them. And because we're hiding behind people who have big chunks of wood. My problem is fighting ancient Yeah, those, those ancient auxiliaries are just bastards. Like, what will happen is I'll run in there with all my guys. And maybe I'll take out, like, one or two of them. But then all my guys, like, ate too many cheeseburgers the night before and get exhausted. And they just... They just can't get through the shields. They just run out of gas. And, you know, he goes from like, all right, we're going to win. We're going to win. We're going to... Everyone is dead. And everyone is tired. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, they're just going to sit there. Oh, no, they're, they're coming up. Excellent. Run. Suicide into the murder wall. Do it. This is this is gonna be like you guys are on MXC, and uh, we're, we're the big dude in uh, the samurai armor. <laughs> Forty-six. All right, good. Well, they're wearing some armor though, so that might be a bit of a problem. Our archers are running away at least. That's fine with me. Let's see. If we can get up here. He's can he poke us? Yeah, he can probably poke us. So let's let's try to flank him. If we if we wait, we might be able to get better shots at him by uh